Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now in this video I'm going to be doing another blind install uh, kind of like I did with Casa OS in my last video where this one is for Umbrel. Now Umbrel is a personal home server uh, again like Casa OS. Uh, it was mentioned to check it out and while we're on the topic of personal servers um, why not check another one out. So that's what we're going to go do today. So we'll bring it up, we'll have a look at the home page We'll do a blind install onto my Raspberry Pi and we'll just see what it's like. Right, so this is Umbrel. Um, and again, it kind of looks like Casa OS with the whole, you just get a desktop and then you get your applications on it. But this one looks like it's a bit more uh, crypto focused. And if you're a bit of a crypto nerd like myself, uh, that could be quite cool. So it looks like it just allows you to run like a Bitcoin node and stuff just from what I can see here um, out of the box. So let's just have a scroll through and we'll see what there is. So Again, it was like Casa OS where it's just got like an install script uh, for it, which is awesome. Um, let's scroll down. Oh, hey, so we'll just read it here. So it says, Umbrel is an OS for running a personal server in your home. Self-host open source apps like Nextcloud, a Bitcoin node, and more. Um, so here's a whole big thing about de-googling yourself. So it's about just being able to run like alternatives for the Google products like running Nextcloud uh, rather than like um, you, Google Drive and stuff, you can manage your own data. So it's just about giving you control and uh, of your data and not providing you the apps to be able to do that. Uh, you can see here that they're just kind of showing you an example of just being able to run this on a Raspberry Pi, which is awesome. Uh, here we are, the next cloud example. Also for storing your photos, some open source stuff for that. Here it's saying if you're into Bitcoin and stuff, you can run your own personal Bitcoin node, which is awesome. And here we go. We can just scroll down some more. Uh, we can run some more crypto stuff, like running our uh, Lightning node. We can connect crypto wallets. And again, then we've got so the ad blocker like Pi Hole and Home Assist. And it's got an app store like Casa OS as well. And we can also use Docker Compose and whatnot to have our own. Uh, apps on the app store and they're pretty much saying it supports anything that runs linux or it's saying here or on a vm on mac or windows so yeah you can if you don't have linux natively or like on the raspberry pi you can just have it like it running in a vm um one click os updates monitor everything uh so I, i'm assuming it's kind of like casa os where it's just got the home page where you can monitor everything uh and then yeah look at all the tweets and stuff from everyone doing it so Enough about all of that, let's play with it ourselves. So, I'm going to install it on a Raspberry Pi 4, so I'm gonna click here and see what happens. Okay, so it takes me down to here and how to install. So let's click here. So, step one, get everything. Are they going, are they wanting me to install their own distro maybe? So, yes, I do have a 16 gig. Yep, yep, I do have a nice case. Oh, so they've got their own OS. So this is a bit different um, compared to Casa OS. So let's download this. Right, so I'm just downloading it now. So it's 908 megabytes. So while that's happening, I'll quickly grab my SD card and I'll get that ready to flash with Umbrel OS. Right, so Belina Edge is here. So flash from a file. We've selected Umbrel, let's select a target. Select, yep, flash. Very cool. Uh... Okay, put my password in. And there we go. So we'll be right back when this is finished flashing. Right, it's done. So I'll grab it out, point, and we'll put it into the Raspberry Pi and we'll connect to it and see what happens. Switch the browser. There was a cache issue with uh, Brave. So we're just using Safari instead. So it's starting Umbrel. Let's see how this plays out. It's very bright. It's Wish it was a dark mode by default. <laughs> so I do need an external hard drive. Please connect an external hard drive of at least one terabyte to US port three. Huh. Okay. Let me go grab my external hard drive and plug it in. Plugged in my external hard drive just now. Let's hit restart. See what happens. Okay. So it's actually checking to see if there's an external hard drive on there so that it can use that by default for, I guess, its storage and stuff. That's pretty cool. It means I'm assuming it's going to take 
control uh, and take care of all the formatting and stuff like that for Umbrella and for all your apps. That's pretty cool, actually. So we'll let this restart and then, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Right, starting again. Let's see how this goes. I'm pretty sure I plugged it into the right port. <laughs> we'll soon find out. Oh, okay. That looks better. Oh, look at this. Okay. Um, we're getting somewhere. Welcome to Umbrel. Your personal server is now ready to set up. Okay, start. Name. Tech Docs. Right, we got the password. Hit create. Creating. Man, this is pretty. It's just the work of just like a nice wallpaper, right? <laughs> Whoa, confetti. <laughs> I did something. <laughs> Congratulations. That's it. You're all set. All right, next. Uh, no, I would not like to say that there. All right, install your first app for the Bitcoiner, for the self poster, and for the networker. Wow, this is very cool. Okay, where do I start? I want, I want a bit of everything. Um, man, I don't know. Let's start with a a. Um, what do we even do here? What do we want? Uh, uptime. Let's grab this. What is this? Uptime Kuma is a self-hosted monitoring tool like Uptime Robot. Okay, I want that, please. Install. Wow. It's installing, okay. So we'll just let that do its thing, I guess. Okay, it's finished, so let's click open. Pause. Hit refresh, I guess. All right, we've got another app. Uh, let's just quickly make this. Never. All right, so we can monitor things on here, I guess. Um, so what's that? Just like monitoring sites. Can we also just check like local? Oh yeah, I guess we could just lo monitor websites and I also guess we can monitor. Oh, hello cat. Sorry. Say hello kitty. I'm making a YouTube video. Bye bye. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so we can, oh, yep, so we can check ping here, actually. So uh, we could say that this is um, Umbrel, I guess is how you say it. Um, and if we just go, uh, I think, I actually think the host name is just Umbrel. So let's save that. Okay, I just, I put the host name in wrong, but it's all right, who cares? We can, this looks pretty cool. This is a good way to test things. So let's just jump back to Umbrel uh, and let's just go back. So here's our first app. Very cool. And there's also an update already. So uh, what do we got here? Let's go into settings and have a look around. So yes, it's already configured my storage. Look at 983 gig. CPU temperature is 56 degrees. Um, that makes sense. It's not, I'm not using my proper um, case. I'm just using a, uh, the stock case. Um, we can update, we can have two-factor authentication, very cool. Remote access, here's my code, look at that. That's all right, I'm going to be wiping this anyways. But, um, yeah, very cool. Uh, what else have we got? Light mode, oh, uh, no. Okay, that's better. Um, app store, so that will, wow, actually there's more here now. So there's the crypto stuff. There's social, man, look at all these apps. Home Assistance, Plex. Yeah, this is, this is very cool. Um, yeah, I guess this is the Umbrow. <laughs> uh, so let's install a Bitcoin node. This app requires a newer version of Umbrow. Please update. All right, let's see what the update process is like. Install now. Starting update. Nice, it's downloading. It's updating. Right. It's all updated, so let's log back in. No, I don't want to save the password. And there we go. So it looks like we're all good. So let's just have a look again at seeing if we can get that Bitcoin node installed. Install. Bitcoin nodes are quite big, I believe, in terms of size. But um, yeah, so I also got uh, the Uptime Kuma up and running again. So you can see here uh, it's actually up now. Um, I just changed the hostname to the IP address um, and it's running all good. So I could also say if I wanted um, a new one, 
and let's say this is my TikToks website and it's looking for TikToks.nz. It retries every three and we um, save that. Boom, we can see that my TikToks website is also up, which is awesome. That's what we want. Um, yeah, this is cool. And we can have like updates and stuff like go to like Discord or whatever, let me know if my site ever goes down. Very cool. Uh, so yeah, the Bitcoin node's installing. Um, I'm not gonna get too carried away because I'm actually gonna install this on my um, uh, other Raspberry Pi, uh, which has like a nice case and everything. Um, but this is very cool. Uh, let me know if you install this and let me know how you find it. Um, and yeah, oh, the Bitcoin node's installed. Let's have a look at that while we're here. Why not? Oh, why is everything so bright? There we go. So this is a little Bitcoin node up and running. Look at that. Very cool. Well, that's uh, that's Umbrow, and I think it's fantastic, and I'm definitely going to use it. I find it a bit more elegant and more appealing to me than Casa OS. Um, let me know what you think as well, uh, which one you like out of the two. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to actually installing this. I'm going to do it tonight. I'm going to install it on my proper Raspberry Pi and uh, yeah, go from there. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.